So I am about to do probably the scariest thing I can think of right now to document my job hunting journey. and welcome back to my channel if you're new here and don't know who I am my name is Johanna and I'm currently enrolled in a Japanese university here in Japan and if you've been following me for quite a while you've probably seen some of my journey from being a language school student to enrolling to a Japanese university and here I am it's the end of March 2022 and I am about to become a fourth year university student which also means that it is time for me to find a job. So I think I've talked about this in some of my earlier videos, but the main reason why I even enrolled in a Japanese university in the first place was so that I would be able to get a, a work visa here in Japan, which you in most cases need a bachelor's degree for. So that's why I started even thinking about going to university, not because I love studying, <laughs> Uh, because I don't love it, but mainly because I wanted to uh, kind of grow a seed that will be able to become... Mm, okay, that's a bad way to phrase it. Basically, I just wanted to lay a good foundation for myself to be able to find a job here in Japan. I have, during these past three years, thought a lot about what I want to do, and I'm going to talk about it more in just a second, but through what I'm studying, kind of try to find my way and what kind of job I want to do. And I think I've come to some kind of answer and now it's time for me to actually go out there and find a job. And I thought, why not bring you guys along on this journey? Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, if it's only a couple of months, if it's gonna take the whole year until I graduate to find a job. Uh, but I thought maybe I, I'm, I'll discover some interest, interesting things that might be of interest and help to you as well. And I just think I need this for as therapy for myself because I am quite scared right now. So first I thought I could start by talking about uh, what I'm studying and kind of what job I want to look for. So as you probably know, I am enrolled in a Japanese university where everything is in Japanese. My major in English is called media and communication. And within that, there have been lots of different ways you could take depending on what you're interested in, interested in like design and PR and social research, lots of different things. And the road that I chose to go down, I guess, um, was kind of TV and film production, documentary. Uh, so basically I've been learning a lot about how to create like a TV show, how to work in a TV studio and how to edit, how to film and just stuff around like video creating. And while I don't see like, uh, I don't have like a specific company, like I want to work here. Um, I do know that I want to start off by working in a film or video production company and kind of work my way from there. My dream is to do freelance sometime in the future, but I don't see that happening right away. And so I'm thinking that I should join a Japanese company first, get experience and get a network there. And then maybe in 10, maybe in 20 years, I have no idea. Maybe go on to do something for, my, for myself later in the future. Oh, I should probably also mention that I have no plans on going back to my own country, Sweden, and I'm planning to stay in Japan long term. So my career will also, as I'm planning it right now, be built, be built in Japan. There are lots of different kinds of video production companies you can join. Some uh, are directly connected to the biggest TV stations here in Japan and some of them are more independent and doing more PR stuff. There's lots to choose from. Most of them are based in Tokyo, but I'm hoping that perhaps I'll be able to find something on a more local level here, level here in Kanagawa where I live. And that is kind of where I am at the moment. So I took some notes uh, before making this video just to make sure that I know what to talk about and in my notes it says where I am right now, colon, I'm scared. <laughs> so some of my classmates and friends have already started to go uh, doing internships and even I think started taking some interviews. I haven't really done anything yet. And I think the reason for that is that I've just been so scared to start. 
I don't know why, but I think it's because I feel like so much is at stake now. Like, I have to find a job to be able to get a visa to stay in Japan. And if I don't, do I have to go back to my own country? Like, I think there are just a lot of, of anxiety over this. And I think that's why it's been hard for me to take action. Of course, I'm going to start to do it more. I still have one year before I graduate. But there are probably things I could have started to do even earlier. I'm also thinking that maybe by making these videos, it'll be a little easier for me to get started. Maybe also get some advice from you guys if you have any tips, advice, or experience.、Um, it's my first time job hunting as 25, and、uh, I still really don't know what to do. I just think I need to take time to think about it more than I have so far, and I think these videos will be a great opportunity for me to do so as well. Lastly, I just want to let you guys know kind of what you can expect from these job hunting in Japan videos. So, of course, in every video I make, I'm gonna share more about the process and where I'm at at the moment, but I'm also planning on taking some time to talk about how the Japanese universities work and what you do in a Japanese university that kind of leads up to the job hunting process. There are seminars, there are Different meetings, there are counselors, there's a lot of things、uh, included in Japanese universities, and I would love to share all of that with you as well. I just want to let you guys in on the process, hopefully, in as much real time as possible. I'm not planning on posting videos about the job hunting every week, because at least as of right now, there isn't that much happening weekly. Uh, but I'm excited to share my journey,、um, whether it takes a year, whether it takes six months, I'm not sure. And yeah, please give me any advice <laughs> you have if you have any experience,、um, anything you would like to share. And of course, if you have any questions about job hunting or Japanese universities or anything I can help with, please leave a comment in the comment section or send me a question on Instagram. And I will try to share and help as much as possible from my end as well. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and leave any comments if there's anything you want to say. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!